the moment you start selling something online, you realize that you made all this work, you made all of this, you know, beautiful sales pages and funnels and everything. And then you realize, hey, people aren't actually buying. They're, or at least they're not buying as much as I would want them to buy. And one big problem of that is that people have be seen so many different sales strategies and so many different sales ideas that it's very difficult to sell them anything. It's very difficult to convince people that they need anything. It's very difficult to get people to want whatever. Now, if people were left to their own means, they will eventually, you know, want to purchase different things because buying stuff is fun. But ultimately, we would like to speed this process up because it is way better to get, have someone who is already on your website to start wanting the thing that you want to sell them instead of waiting for two to three months for them to want it by you know themselves now obviously you can do this with every single person but if you can do this with you know two times three times more people that you know, visit your website you can two times or three times the monthly revenue that your sales generate which is pretty damn cool and in this video, I'm going to tell you the biggest thing that stops most people because they're selling in the wrong way. They're trying to convince people in the wrong way. And I'll visualize it in the most insane and infantile way possible because uh, that's who I am and that's more fun. Ah, Anyway, so to know that I know what I'm talking about, my name is Jordan. I have been running businesses since my very first job. My very first job was a startup. It bombed spectacularly. It sucked. It was horrible. Then my second job was also a startup. It also bombed very badly. And uh, in the meantime, I was engineering for big companies and doing all kinds of things. Eventually, by business number four, I started figuring things out. And now I'm on my last business number five. And I'm helping creators make more money from their audiences after working big companies, small companies, in my own companies, in other people's companies, and so on and so forth. So I know a thing or two about business and uh, I happen to know a lot about software because I was an engineer for you know 15 years or so. So yeah, let's get to the juicy part of this. Let's look at an example sales page which looks something like this. We have a big title saying, hey, buy this thing, it's amazing. And then we just have a bunch of arguments about why this thing is amazing. <sighs> the problem with this is that when you get to a place, you know, and you see this, let me make this transparent because it's prettier. Uh, when you see something like this, it is, uh, you know, very obvious what the page wants you to do. The page wants you to buy this thing, whatever this thing is, whatever the page talks about, you want them to buy it. And now this might work with, in certain cases, if you have something cheap, if you have something, uh, you know, commoditized, if you have something that people just generally need most of the time. There's instances in which this kind of, you know, approach can work really, really well. But if you're selling a course, if you're selling a service, if you're selling something that is not as commonly needed, uh, you know, compared to, I don't know, bread or coffee or, I don't know, some something else that's very useful because lists are always in three items, uh, then it is very difficult to actually get people to just buy it from just, hey, buy this. You need to pre-sell it to them in emails, in content, in whatever, making this sales page way less effective. Now, doing this is... Uh, so popular because most people don't know there is a better way and i'm here going to explain this better way so instead of going about this by saying hey buy my shit you know buy this thing that i have to sell you you sell people one step behind that so you you start a little bit sooner so instead of trying to sell people on the thing you sell people on the thing be before the thing <laughs> let me let me draw this for you and, and you understand it very very quickly so in general, we have something like this. So here we have, uh, we have, why would I want this? And after that, we have the second step, which is where should I get it from, right? So initially, when we have that kind of a sales page, we're answering the second question. Where should I purchase this thing that I already want? So if I'm already looking to purchase a new mattress and you say, buy my epic mattress, <laughs> epic mattress. I have no idea how to spell mattress. Hopefully this is correct. Uh, English very hard. Me no understand English very well. Sorry, apologies. Anyway. <laughs> So if, if you if you just say that, yeah, and obviously I'm looking for something like this, that's cool. You know, that can work. You know, I'm looking for, for a mattress and I see your webpage that offers a mattress. Cool. Perfect. 
but that is not always the case. Like I don't generally look for the things that you're selling. So if you're selling me a course on how to make better YouTube videos, for example, because you can see this one doesn't have any edited, editing. Oh no, how, how horrible. But if you are trying to sell me that, like I will see that page and I'll just ignore it because I have a reason behind not editing my videos. I have something in mind and I don't care. And maybe I don't even make YouTube videos, maybe I don't think that editing is necessary. There's a thousand reasons of why I wouldn't buy editing. And the problem with that is, unless I have an answer of why should I get editing, then your buy my editing is not going to be an, an effective message. So we want to start one step before that stage. So before uh, I, ask my, uh, I ask myself, do I want to buy editing? This title, this sort of title raises the question in my head, do I want to purchase editing? And obviously in you know, most cases, the answer is no, because no is easier. Like, do you want to invest your money in you know, this thing? And the answer to that is just generally no, because it's easier to just not buy things and not think hard if you need them, not think about the budget, not think about all of the hassle of you know, investing money. Like this is, keep in mind, this is important. This is when someone else is offering. If I am shopping, then it's the whole different thing. Like if I'm going around trying to see where can I spend my money, I already answered all those, you know, pes pesky questions about how I'm going to, you know, budget that and how I'm going to finance that. I just want to waste a bunch of cash and feel good about myself. This is a different situation. This is a situation in which you invite people to the sales page. They come here and they're like, okay, do I want this? And now when, when you directly offer it, Yes, this, this can work if you have fantastic content, if you have fantastic email marketing, this can work really, really well. So I'm not saying this is a bad idea. I'm saying that m for most people, this is a bad idea because they don't really have that great of emails and they don't really have that great of content when it comes to sales. They're great in, the, in other ways, but for sales specifically, usually not so much. All right. So what we do is we actually start a little bit further behind and that would be why would i want this so instead of selling the thing that we want to sell so instead of selling your youtube video editing instead of selling your i don't know jujutsu class instead of selling your tutorial on how to write better you're selling the why behind it why would i benefit from this thing so instead of saying buy my epic thing is uh here's why you need editing, for example. And let's make these two lines because that would be prettier and we'll move this here, cool. And I have this pen, but I'm not using it as much because I'm used to doing this on PC. Anyway, cool. Okay, so obviously you won't title it this, this way, you put a little bit more effort, like revealing the system of whatever and whatever, like there's, there's ways to make the actual title more persuasive. But this here does one very important thing to the brain. And that is here, I'm selling you an idea. I'm not selling you the thing that costs money. I'm just saying, hey, here is this idea that is important enough for me to write a sales page about it. Here's this idea that deserves its own website. Here's this idea that is so impactful that I'm actually bothering to send you to this. This is very powerful. This is important stuff. Like who sends people to a, to a web page just for, to share an idea? Like this is rarer nowadays and it is, people would trust this more because you're not instantly asking them for something that they know everyone is asking for, aka money. You're asking them for something else that everyone is asking for, aka attention. But this situation kind of allows for that. So, Anyway, the point is we're, we are starting with this is the idea. This is the big idea that we're talking about. And we're selling that in some way or form. Like we want people to believe in the big thing, the big idea that makes this next thing make sense. So the, the next thing in this case is the thing that you sell. So this here would be, I don't know, this, this here can be your course. This here can be your coaching, coaching. This here can be, I don't know, uh, uh, community. O C words, so the, the 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 three of C words that people sell online. Well, all three of them can be fantastic, of course. Uh, but yeah, so the thing is, I'm selling those things here from this from the second part of the sales uh, sales letter. The second part of this sales page is dedicated to this, but the first part doesn't need to be, and in many cases, in cases it shouldn't need to be. So if your sales are not 
where you want them to be, you should probably focus on selling the idea first. So I'll give you some examples so you can imagine this, but it makes this so much easier. So here we have the here, here is why you need editing. Obviously, that's one way to put it. It's kind of blunt, because, you know, here's why we need editing. This sounds like a blog post, but the point is different. The point is you, you go to this web page and it starts talking about someone who changed their life, like with a story, stories were better, uh, using this amazing editing system. And now this is an interesting thing. I'm discovering something about editing. Uh, I'm discovering the power of editing. I'm discovering the power of this specific thing. And that m makes me want to want it because I see it in action. I, s I see an example and I imagine this. I put myself in the shoes of the person in the, in the story. I'm like, holy crap, this is amazing. I want that as well. And you, you need to give me enough so I say that. You need to give me enough of story, uh, enough, you know, arguments, enough interesting things that I can imagine in my head. Usually it's stories because stories work best for any, like, any communication. But you want to give me enough of that so in my head I say this first. I'm like, holy shit, this is so cool. I kind of want this. And when I say this, this is when you're like introducing my uh, done-for-you editing services. Or you tell an impactful story about here is how, you know, I changed my life by not eating every Sunday. And, you know, I lost weight. I got, you know, seven wives. I managed to become the best League of Legends player and a bunch of random, you know, stuff that your audience wants. Whatever. <laughs> but the point is you, sh you share that and then people should be, like, if you know your audience enough, I mean, you need to do market research, you need to talk to people, you need to understand them. But if you know your audience enough and you offer them the things that they want, then they read that and they're like, wow, this is where I want to be. And then when they say that, you immediately are like, cool, if you want to be here, here is how can I help you get there. And this becomes a fundamental change in sales pages because instead of those sales pages being sales pages, you literally like buy this, buy this, buy this, because most sales pages are like, Hey, here's some arguments. Buy this thing. You know, the first part of the sales page would be, uh, come on, don't move this part. I want to create a new one. So this would be the first part. And this would be a bunch of arguments. Hey, this is this thing. It's amazing. Do you want, and at the end, you have a button and that button, let's make it green. It'll be, do you want it now? And people would, would say yes or no based on, you know, what you wrote. Come on, let me select this. Ah, come on. Let's use the mouse. Perfect. Let's group those. All right, so this would be the first step. Like, hey, this is this product is amazing. Look at how many people love it. Uh, do you want it? And people uh, people click here, click the button to say yes, or they exit to say no. And then you do it again. Hey, here's some new arguments. Here's why you know your mom liked it. Here's why your dad liked it. Here's how how my aunt uh, really liked it and gave it to her friend and who sent it to her daughter in China. Whatever, like some some weird other angle then you do you create a new angle which is here's why everyone in this small country in eastern europe likes it then you have the next angle which would be uh here's why uh it, you you want it because of the contents and so on and so forth you're just going through different arguments in different angles to which you're trying to make the same point which is you need this thing and you're trying to convince the person now this part works this is not bad this is not horrible but the problem with this is if people don't believe the big idea none of those sections will work but what will work is if you spend the have the first section defining the idea instead and basically talking about the idea or the first several sections talking about the idea and setting people on the idea so once i believe that i want this thing then you start hitting me with all right you want this thing do you, uh, you should get, you should get it because it can help you. I don't know. It can whiten your teeth. You should get it because it can, I don't know, make you ripped. It, you should get it because it does this, this and that. You should get it because those people like it. You should get it because I'm a trustworthy person, whatever. Like there are so many different arguments you can make after that point. And because the journey of the person matters, because their experience is what matters and what makes people purchase or not purchase, you, you have a much higher success rate because if you present the argument here in the second spot, in this spot, so this is the first time I hear about your product, I am already warmed up to the idea. I'm like, oh, wow, I need this thing. I want this thing. And because I want this thing, this thing sounds like a nice solution. It sounds like something that I want. And you're now just in time offering me what I want. It's a different experience compared to you, you just slapping me with that offer when I, when I first opened the page. 
Obviously, you can do a lot of those steps inside of your email marketing, inside of your content and compensate for whatever you have on the sales page and it will depend on your style. But for most sales pages, for most sales pages I see and for most sales pages people run, you would probably be better off at the very least testing it. So the way you improve sales pages, by the way, is you create two versions of the page and you run both of them and you see which one sells more. This is how. This is the only good way to know if a sales page is better than a different sales page because it's the only guaranteed way because you see if people actually act the way you want them to in that sales page. So try adding this on top of your pages and see if your results get better. My guess is you'll get way better results with most of your sales pages if you add a section on top selling the idea, selling why people need this and preferably selling that through a story. So telling a story about, your, about you being a little kid and having no money and then bam, getting a mattress and that changing your life. Weird story, but I don't know, you know, maybe it will work. And then, tr and then going to, towards mattresses, maybe that can work better. And, or maybe in some markets it won't. So test it and see if it works. For most online products, this actually works a lot better because people have seen so many messages and it just gives them some chance to actually build desire for this thing instead of just being invited to purchase something that they don't really care about. So yeah, hope that helps.